The samurai was about 25 years old when they met at the festival. They met again 10 years later and remained friends. They spent time together drinking, traveling, and sparring. When they had first met, they merely respected each other, but 10 years later, they became best friends. After another decade, the samurai had reached the pinnacle of his swordsmanship and won their duel by a narrow margin. Kamai was so astonished by his defeat, he gave up drinking and began training to become stronger for their next duel. However, another 10 years later, Kamai did not meet the samurai. As it turned out, war had broken out in the south, and the samurai had gone to defend the border. Kamai was unconcerned, because ten years was nothing in a yokai's lifetime. But when they met once again, Kamai discovered that the samurai was already 65 years old. He couldn't believe his eyes when he saw the samurai's gray hair and scars covering his body. Hey, old friend. Can you still wield the sword? I'm getting too old to fight. This time, I've come to say goodbye. I see. Then, how about one last game of Akitsu Hazara? All right. The samurai gave his best effort during the game, but had to quit halfway through because he was too weak. After putting down his agoita, Kamai remained silent for a long time before letting out a long sigh. <sighs> what a shame. Their friendship started as something they looked forward to, and in just a few decades it turned into regret. Lord Kamai's appearance hadn't changed, but his dear friend in front of him had grown old. The joys of friendship gradually gave way to the pain of regret. People often say that those outside the situation can see things more clearly, and I learned a harsh truth after witnessing all of it. We yokai are different from humans. We have longer lifespans and different natures, but we share the same world. We interact with one another. We are drawn to one another and will eventually part ways. When the dream ends, all that is left are sorrowful memories and lingering pain. Even a wise and seasoned yokai like Kamai felt sadness when it was time to say goodbye. Imagine what a pure and kind little yokai would feel. Oh. So, you mean... I was hiding on this beach, waiting for the last of my days. But those three yokai came and set up the Akitsu Yugen here, which woke me from my slumber. I didn't want them to approach humans with unbridled optimism and enthusiasm just because they'd heard the legend of Kamai and the Samurai. Is that why you pretended to be a ghost? To scare all the people away from here? Oh, so you must be the one who trapped that guy on the beach. That was a little bit harsh, don't you think? My power has become pretty weak now. And most of the time, I just use some props I've collected to scare people. But that jerk was greedy. He wanted to steal the decorations from Akitsu Yugen and sell them for a profit. That's why I used my yokai power. To teach him a lesson. Ah, so that's what happened. You have a strong sense of justice. By the way, how did you know the rest of the story about Kamai and the Samurai? It's okay if you don't want to tell us. I've already figured it out. Your true form is this pair of Hagoita, isn't it? Hagoita? Oh, wait! So that means she's... The pair of Hagoita used by Kamai and the human samurai to play a Kitsu Hazura hundreds of years ago. You gradually developed sentience after being influenced by great yokai power. You were the closest to witness their story. Even with the yokai power's blessing, the Hagoita have started to rot away after hundreds of years. 
You can't sustain yourself, so you were forced to rely on props to scare people. And if my theory is correct, this pair of Hagoita is also the item we need to find for the third round of the Test of Courage. Excellent work. You figured it all out. Congratulations, little ones. You've passed the third round of the Test of Courage. Miko? And the Shrine Maiden? Paimon thought you went missing. I apologize for causing you concern. It was actually Lady Yai's idea. <laughs> well, what did you think? Were you scared? Because fear is induced by uncertainty, the more chaotic the situation, the better. Having the event staff also mysteriously vanish only added to the uncertainty. I must say, I think this test of courage truly lived up to its name. So you're the one responsible for all the scary stuff. Hitomi, go tell the others that the test of courage has ended and that we have a winner. Now that I've solved the mystery, I'm going back to meet with my client. The intent to steal is not exactly a serious crime, but it can't go unpunished. I'll see you two later. Nico, did you choose the Hagoita for the third round of the Test of Courage because you already knew about Chizuru? Miko, Lady Yai, you're... I followed Kitsune Saigu around the Mikawa Flower Festival one year and saw her play Akitsu Hazura. That was when I saw you. You didn't have a human form at the time and possessed only the earliest traces of sentience. I remember now. You were on Kitsune Saigu's shoulder. I went for a stroll on the beach some time ago and sensed a familiar yokai power. Though your power was weak, I was still able to find you. You were sitting in a tree, gazing at the tourists below. I overheard you telling yourself that you must be patient and avoid contact with humans. Huh? When was that? I didn't notice you at all. With your powers being so diminished, it was only natural that you didn't notice me. You must have been blaming yourself all this time. You knew Kamai and the samurai became friends as a result of Akitsu Hazura, a game connected to your existence. At the time, I couldn't take on a human form like this. I had only a hazy sense of the outer world. After they first met at the Mikawa Flower Festival, I felt proud to know that I had left a mark on their story. But after they said their final goodbyes, I could often hear Kamai sighing to himself. I couldn't help but hide, because I blamed myself. When I woke up again, the world had changed. Lady Yai, you are a well-known yokai. You must know many more things than I do. So I have a question for you. People meet, become friends, and then go their separate ways. After such a short time, they leave only regret and sadness in their wake. Is it really worthwhile for us yokai to interact with humans? Why not? Tell me, how did you feel when you played Akitsu Yugen with the Traveler? I felt happy. Mm, but your rationality told you that it was wrong, didn't it? It turns out that there is still another piece to the story of Kamai and the Samurai that you are missing. What do you mean? The Samurai and Kamai never met again. True, but the story doesn't end there. That Samurai's name was Yanagibashi Takuto, who also happens to be the founder of the Soran Ishin art. It is believed that Takuto developed this style of swordsmanship while dueling with Kamai, who had also befriended the third-generation heir of the Soran Ishin art, Tominaga Masanari. Five hundred years ago, Kamai and Tominaga fought side by side until their final moments, and the sword Tominaga wielded was passed down from Yanagibashi. The regret Kamai once felt had finally been resolved. Oh, I never knew. We yokai are not like humans. Humans have too short a lifespan, and the day will inevitably come when we must say goodbye. However, 
The bond formed by friendship will not be broken, but rather carried on in a new form. There's no reason to be upset by this. Time flies by in an instant, and life passes by like a dream. So, you must be happy in the present. You should understand what I mean now. Hey, compadres! Ito! What are you doing here? <laughs> Hitomi told me everything. And I also heard that you won the last round. I even know who the ghost lady is now. Anyway, I had a little discussion with the others, and, uh... Hey, you're that fox lady. Why are you here? <laughs> Please just disregard my presence. Now, tell us what you discussed. Ah, right. <clears throat> All right, listen up. To celebrate the end of the Test of Courage event, we will be holding the Mikawa Flower Festival. I gave it some real thought and realized that it might be kind of difficult for those little yokai to hold the festival on their own. But with my help, it won't be a problem. That's right. Arataki, the one and only Ito, will be in charge of organizing the best Mikawa Flower Festival anyone's ever seen. Hooray for Ito! Oh. Uh, can we really trust this guy with the festival? Hey, what you trying to say? Besides, it won't just be me. Other people will help too. Even my bro Ayato is gonna be there. Everyone's busy getting ready and the festival will be up and running in no time. It won't be long until you can all join the fun. <laughs> You're the best, Ito! And what would a festival be without me? I'll be sure to go have a look, too. Ah, <sighs> it has been some time since I've attended a festival. Fortunately, I brought sake with me. Paimon's got to admit, Ito does have his moments. A festival, delicious food, count Paimon in! Uh... All right, I'll join. If you don't mind, that is. Looks like the festival is started! Let's go check it out! Ito and Goro, what are you two talking about? Oh, I was just saying that if I had more time, I'd have built a massive fishing pond here. Fishing? You know, when I lived on Watatsumi Island, I used to just dive into the sea and catch fish with my bare hands. <laughs> Take it from an expert, using your hands to catch fish is nowhere near as fun as using a fishing rod. Just the other day, I caught a fish so big that I didn't even know how to handle it. I even wrote a letter to Yai Publishing House about it. That's an unusual problem to have. Huh? A big fish? How come you didn't tell us? Paimon could have helped you eat it! Huh? You wrote a letter to Yai Publishing House? Oh, you bet I did. I wrote to the That's Life column and asked Miss Hina for advice. Ah, she's so amazing. She got back to me really quickly, too. Huh, what a coincidence. I do some part-time work there, and I recently received a similar letter. You mean the letter was about dealing with a giant fish they caught? No, could it be? Could it be that there's someone as good at fishing as I am? Oh, not on my watch. Hey, you all go enjoy the festival. I'm gonna get out there and catch an even bigger fish. Just you wait. I'll be inviting you all to my fish feast. <laughs> Aw, the string snapped. I was so close. Yoimiya, this is more difficult than it looks. 
Can you really fish out these water balloons with a string? Don't worry. Let me show you a little trick. Just remember that your hand has to be quick. Yo, yo, Tsuri! Paimon's seen this game in some light novels before! Do you want to give a shot? Close one eye, aim carefully, and fish it out quickly. Oh, it looks kind of tricky. Paimon will let the traveler try. You have to catch at least three water balloons since there's three of us. Uh, but Yoimiya, if I close one eye, I won't be able to see anything. This ramen is so good. <sighs> yes, it feels like it's been ages since the last time I had some. Hmm? You mean you don't get to eat ramen very often, Ayaka? But it's so delicious! Oh, it's you. We'll need two more bowls of ramen, please. Food like ramen and hot pot tend to have a lot of oil and salt. So... Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah. Now Paimon totally gets why Ayaka would put cake in the hot pot. Huh? Oh, uh, please. No need to bring that up again. Yeah, I'm stuffed. And feeling a little sleepy. <sighs> I'm just gonna... By the way, were there any special stalls at yokai festivals in the past? Yes, but... Well, it's a long story. you couldn't get a single water balloon. You've gotten rusty. Chizuru managed to finally... Oh, I was just saying that fishing. <laughs> Take it from an expert, using your hands to catch fish. Just the other day. That's an un- Huh? Huh? Oh, you bet I did. I wrote to the- Huh. You mean the letter was about dealing with a giant fish they caught? No. Could it be- Could it be that there's someone as good at fishing as I am? Oh, not on my watch. Hey, you all go enjoy the festival. Just you wait. I'll be inviting you all to my fish feast. <laughs> Yoimiya, this is more difficult than it looks. Don't worry. Yo, yo, Tsuri! Paimon seen this game in some Do you want to give a shot? Oh, it looks kind of tricky. Paimon will let the trap... Uh, but Yoimiya, if I close one eye, I won't be able to see anything. This ramen is so good. <sighs> hmm? You mean you don't get to eat ramen very often, Ayaka? But it's... Oh, it's you. Food like ramen and hot pot tend to have a lot of oil and salt. Oh. Yeah. No? Huh? Oh, uh... Yeah. By the way, were there any... Yes, but... Well, it's a long story. You couldn't get a single one.
Chizuru managed to finally get one and gave it to Hitotsume Kozo. He looked like he really wanted it. But Paimon wanted one too. All right, then I'll catch one for you next time. Yay! Come on now, this is way more expensive than usual. Even if it is a festival, you shouldn't hike up the prices this much. Hey now, it costs money to run a stall. I need to raise my prices to help cover the expenses, you know? Uh, fair enough. How about five masks for 30% off? Final offer. All right, all right. Uh, it's so hot. Feels like I'm being roasted here. Don't get too close. It's better to keep a few steps back. I know. It's just so rare to see such a nice bonfire. I want to get as close as I can. There are many beautiful things in the world. There's no need to be anxious. The festival has only just begun. I was surprised that you didn't even tell your sister. It seems she was quite frightened, too. It would have been uninteresting had I told her what was going to happen ahead of time. Besides, with her friends by her side, she wouldn't ever be too scared. Having a little fright is good to release any tension she might have accumulated lately. <laughs> Everything went according to plan. People started to panic as soon as they sensed that they had no idea what was happening. Oh, how amusing. <laughs> yes, well done. Hey, you two, stop laughing! It was scary! Hmm? Have you finished exploring the festival? Well then, are you having a good time? Yeah, it's great! The original Mikawa Flower Festival was much more lively. But even if you could attend the original, you probably wouldn't be as happy as you are now. Because it's always more fun to enjoy a festival with friends, isn't it? Yes. Thank you. Well then, I'm guessing you have something you want to say to him alone? We'll leave you in peace. What did you want to say to us? Ah, uh, you saw through me again. I can't help but feel you somehow know everything. It's not that I know everything. It's just that I've been in your position before. <sighs> Traveler, do you have a moment? I'd like to talk to you. Alone on the beach. I want to become a great yokai, like the mighty Urakusai. Then I'll be able to help create a real Mikawa flower festival. Here will do. Thank you for agreeing to come with me. Actually, I was delighted when I first discovered that I could take on a human form. I was a yokai derived from a pair of Hagoita who came into being in the middle of a festival. I wanted to go to more festivals, become friends with humans, and play Akitsu Yugen with them. But every evening, as night began to set in, I'd recall the bitter smile of the old samurai as he set down the Hagoita, and the lonely Kamai sighing as he drank his sake. Then I would wonder, if I became friends with a human, would that person experience the same melancholy in the future? As a result, I was convinced that I couldn't do it. I told myself I would not repeat that same mistake. I'm sorry that I spoke so strangely when we first met. I'm sure it must have scared you. I expected you to flee in terror. But when we met again, you acted like you had no trouble being around me. I knew you mistook me as one of the yokai. But instead of telling you the truth, I went and played Akitsu Yugen with you. Hmm. I'm not completely sure myself. Perhaps it's because I've always wanted to be like Kamai and 
play a Kitsu Yugen with humans. Or perhaps it was because I knew I didn't have much time left, and I didn't want to be alone. Anyway, thank you for taking the time to play with me. When we played Akitsu Yugen, Paimon said the loser would have to grant the winner a wish. At the time, I wished for us to never cross paths again. However, you still came and found me. Meaning, you never granted my wish. So, can I make another wish? Let me think. I wish for you to remember me. Uh, no. I only have one wish, so I better make it count. Okay. Listen carefully. My wish is... I wish that every day of your journey ahead will be filled with joy like a festival.